Warning, this hunting show isn't like other TV hunting shows. We focus on telling a true-to-life story, day-to-day, -day, throughout an entire season. You will witness our highest and lowest moments, all as it unfolded in 2015, all in the order it happened. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Welcome to DeerHunterFan.com TV. This is just an update on how my seasons went so far. Uh, it started out really positive this spring. And I don't know if anybody else has had a season go like this. Uh, I started putting my mineral sites out. We had narrowed down the piece of property we were going to hunt this fall, pre-rut and rut, uh, with Ridge Runner's Guide Service. Uh, I spent all summer putting tree stands up, anticipating travel patterns, bush hogging trails through the CRP and getting everything lined out. But just in a split second, the whole season can go just backwards on you on what you're anticipating it to be. I was fortunate, today is October 26th, uh, on October 24th, I was fortunate enough to harvest a, a big eight out there that I never planned on harvesting him on that day. Uh, I actually went out on that day anticipating to see some buck moving and thought there was a chance I might have an encounter with him. Uh, I got to watch him on trail camera photos all year. So, I mean, I knew he was there, but uh, in the late part of September and early October, uh, he started disappearing off the camera, so I figured they'd move to their fall range. Well, now that I had everything in place, I decided to hunt the stand. And even after I was sitting in the stand, I was sitting in it backwards, filming a bean field to the south of me, watching a little buck chase a doe around and deer movement, and just happened to look around, and there he was. I mean, he was right on top of me. One of the bucks that I had real frequent pictures of, I was able to film him in the beans uh, near the end of August. So, uh, but then that's where it all fell apart. Uh, I was able to get my camera around. He busted me. I was able to get my camera around on him. I never hit the record button. So all the time I thought I was recording, I wasn't. Uh, he backed out, and that's probably when I should have quit. But as you do with a mature buck, no matter how long you've been hunting them, uh, you just get that buck fever or whatever you want to call it. And I tried to salvage that last few minutes. I was able to hit my grunt call and he actually turned around and came around to inspect me. Um, I had a 50 yard shot. Uh, I was pretty comfortable with 50 yards. I've been using the steady form, so my normal shot went from 40 to 50 using their product, so I was really comfortable in the grouping and the way I was shooting um, with my steady form. So the 50 yard shot, I grunted to stop him. He never stopped, I released it anyways. Uh, Hit him a little far back, uh, but he did run within 10 yards of me, cause, so I could see that he was, you know, it was a pretty good stick, and he was bleeding pretty well. But uh, never got the record button on. Hit a limb shooting him. Shot him a little bit far back, and uh, fortunately, um, you'll get to see at least some of the recovery and the interview with him after. Uh, it was definitely an awesome eight point for me. Uh, so even though you work hard all summer, you're still going to have some ups and some downs, you know, and although I had worked all summer trying to put this whole thing together, it all went away in like two minutes, you know, the final touches all went away. But uh, like I always say, it doesn't matter the size of the horns or the length of the beard, you can't kill them from the couch. So we'll go back out, the rut's about to kick in, I, I get to get behind the camera now. So we'll see if I can't get it right, just operating the camera and not trying to pull my bow back too. So, But uh, it was still a lot of fun and that just shows you when you're filming yourself, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. And I mean, it's you really have to work at it and things can go wrong. So stay with us. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Uh, enjoy the little footage I was able to gather. But uh, thanks for watching DeerHunterFan.com TV. I'm Bob Weibel with DeerHunterFan.com TV and this is what Glenn from Ridge Runners Guide Service and this is the kind of bucks they turn out. Everything can go bad sometimes. This morning I couldn't get the camera on the deer. Uh, I hit a limb, had a flat tire, 
But even though everything went bad right out of the gate, we were able to find him. Glenn, how far did he go? 100 yards. 100 yards. So if you guys want to kill a big buck, call Glenn. Uh, go to RidgeRunnersGuideService.com or go to our pro staff page and click on the link. And these are the bucks you'll kill out here in Kansas. Bob had some bad luck, but it was still a heck of a buck. And congratulations. The Ridge Runners Guide Service in Kansas and Missouri will be shown and featured in future episodes. As the season progressed, we made a trip down with them. Either way, it was a great buck, on video or not. And it just being an eight point with that kind of mass and tine length, it speaks volumes for the caliber of deer that are in Kansas. And obviously, that goes without saying. After the break. So you want to bag that big buck this season? Buck yeah. Get help with that. Get ahead of him. Buck yes, deer feed attracting. Natural aromas, minerals, and vitamins. Amber growth, supplements. Equal one big buck. Buck yeah. Attract them, hold them, bang. Buck yeah, deer is that. Don't let another hunter take your buck. So are you ready? Buck yeah. Ridge Runners Guide Service offers hunts in Kansas and Missouri. Only a limited number of mature bucks are harvested off of a property each year. With this low pressure and high amount of acreage available for you to hunt, you're guaranteed ample opportunities for trophies. Be sure to visit RidgeRunnersGuideService.com to view pictures from past hunts, rates, and get in contact with them to plan your next hunt. This segment is sponsored by Sinclairville Seed Company, offering custom mixes, Eagle Seed, Real World Seed, satisfying the most important clients, you and your deer. Visit SinclairvilleSeed.com. As November nears and anticipation grows, so does Ben's trigger finger. And on a slow morning in New York, when all of a sudden at 10 o'clock deer action picks up, Ben decided it was time to fill his doe tags. It's 9.30. I just had four doe come marching in. And when they got downwind of me, they didn't really spook. Just something wasn't right. So they started turning to go back. Well, meanwhile, I had my camera kind of behind me because I was waiting to take them after they went past me. And uh, 
as they started turning to go away, I got the camera. Hopefully, I got it on video. And uh, I think it drilled her. So stay with us and let's go find my doe. about 15 minutes after I just shot a doe. I'm sitting here waiting to get down and I'm hunting over this food plot from Sinclairville Seed Company and it's like just mowed down, right? So I'm sitting here and all of a sudden, just like the group that came before, I hear all this noise. I look up and here pop out six doe. They come right over to me and uh, just like last time, they kind of started to go ahead of me. Started to sense something wasn't right and uh, gave me an opportunity, so I took it, drilled her, and saw her go down. So I gotta get to the ground and do some work, but it was awesome. So hopefully tonight I'll be able to get a buck and I will be done in New York, and then next week, heading to Kansas. Cannot wait. I've been the deer about an hour, and I called my friend Shane Swan to help me track it. Right here is where the second doe was shot, and that second doe ran that way, the first doe ran up that way. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the second one because it was a clear pass through and it'll probably be the easiest one to find. So we'll start with that and then we'll go to the second one. Perfect. Well, we found her. She didn't go far, maybe 80 yards, and that was all she wrote. Now we got to go find the second one. So stay with us. We're going to get them both today. Here's the second one. Put a nice shot on her. They both only went about 80 yards. I'd like to thank Shane Swan for helping me out today. Uh, I wasn't that hard of a track, but it sure is nice to have two set of eyes. Well, here they are. This morning was an awesome morning for Joe's. I was sitting over a Sinclairville Seed Company food plot, and uh, early in the morning, two does came in, started eating. They walked off. Then I had a group of four come in. That's where she came from. And then a group of six came, like, running in. As soon as they got in, heads down, started eating. So I took another one. But uh, it was really nice to uh, get some deer on the ground and know that I still got it. After the break. Steady foam will increase your accuracy, confidence, and allow you to extend your range. The steady form is an essential tool for every bow hunter to help eliminate form breakdown when it counts the most. The steady form was designed to give your bow hand a consistent anchor point each and every time. We are hunting in the sticks, and we put our trust in the steady form torque eliminator. Steady form will increase your accuracy, confidence, and will allow you to extend your range guaranteed. Ridge Runner's Guiding Service offers hunts in Kansas and Missouri. 
only a limited number of mature bucks are harvested off of a property each year. With this low pressure and high amount of acreage available for you to hunt, you're guaranteed ample opportunities for trophies. Be sure to visit RidgeRunnersGuideService.com to view pictures from past hunts, rates, and get in contact with them to plan your next hunt. So you want to bag that big buck this season? Buck yeah! Can help with that. Get ahead of him. Buck yeah's deer feed attracting. Natural aromas, minerals, and vitamins. Amber growth, supplements. Equal one big buck. Buck yeah! Attract them, hold them, bag them. Buck yeah deer attracting. Don't let another hunter take your buck. So are you ready? Buck yeah! This segment is sponsored by Buck Yeah. Buck Yeah Company was built on years of hunting experience, offering deer lures and deer attractants in spray and also solid form. Visit BuckYeahOutdoors.com. And to welcome in the new month of November, Brian, Ben, and Ron were off to Kansas and Ridge Runners Guide Service. It didn't take long for action. At first light on the first day, Brian, Ben, and Ron all had bucks in front of them. But they all chose that they weren't the bucks that they went to Kansas to come home with.
So you want to bag that big buck this season? Buck yeah. Can help with that. Get ahead of him. Buck yeah's deer feed attracting. Natural aromas, minerals, and vitamins. Antler growth, supplements. Equal one big buck. Buck yeah. Attract them, hold them, bang them. Buck yeah deer's ready. Don't let another hunter take your buck. So are you ready? Buck yeah. The steady form will increase your accuracy, confidence, and allow you to extend your range. The steady form is an essential tool for every bow hunter to help eliminate form breakdown when it counts the most. The steady form was designed to give your bow hand a consistent anchor point each and every time. I'm Carrie Wells, and I shoot the steady form. We're Smack TV, and we put our trust in the steady form for the eliminator. Steady form will increase your accuracy, confidence, and will allow you to extend your range guaranteed. Ridge Runner's Guide Service offers hunts in Kansas and Missouri. Only a limited number of mature bucks are harvested off of a property each year. With this low pressure and high amount of acreage available for you to hunt, you're guaranteed ample opportunities for trophies. Be sure to visit RidgeRunnersGuideService.com to view pictures from past hunts, rates, and get in contact with them to plan your next hunt. Get it done. This segment is sponsored by Ridge Runners Guide Service, featuring deer and turkey hunts in Kansas and Missouri. Visit RidgeRunnersGuideService.com. So as the first morning wrapped up, it was pretty obvious. The timing was perfect. The boys were all going to see deer. It's just a matter of time before an arrow would be released. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Buck Yeah Outdoors. Longhorn Fat Shop. Muddy Outdoors, Outback Archery, Ridge Runners Guide Service, Scent Blocker, Sinclair Mill Seed Company, Spy Point. Steady form. And DeerHunterFan.com, an original online free hunting show.
So you want to bag that big buck this season? Buck yeah. Can help with that. Get ahead of him. Buck yeah is deer feet attracting. Natural aromas, minerals, and vitamins. Amber growth, supplements. Equal one big buck. Buck yeah. Attract them, hold them, bag them. Buck yeah deer is ready. Don't let another hunter take your buck. So are you ready? Buck yeah. Ridge Runners Guiding Service offers hunts in Kansas and Missouri. Only a limited number of mature bucks are harvested off of a property each year. With this low pressure and high amount of acreage available for you to hunt, you're guaranteed ample opportunities for trophies. Be sure to visit RidgeRunnersGuideService.com to view pictures from past hunts, rates, and get in contact with them to plan your next hunt. The steady foam will increase your accuracy, confidence, and allow you to extend your range. The steady form is an essential tool for every bow hunter to help eliminate form breakdown when it counts the most. The steady form was designed to give your bow hand a consistent anchor point each and every time. I'm Carrie Wells and I shoot the steady form. We're Smack TV and we put our trust in the steady form for the eliminator. Steady form will increase your accuracy, confidence, and will allow you to extend your range guaranteed.